Let's go ahead and factor uh, this polynomial right here by, oops, by uh, the grouping method. But notice that uh, um, in order for this one to work right here is that we're going to have to factor first by um, rearranging the, the terms here. And the reason why that you know to do that is if you were to put parentheses around the first two terms here, parentheses around these two, two terms, okay, um, 2k p squared plus 6, okay, so those have a 2 in common. Uh, but uh, notice that these don't have anything in common right here. Um, and basically, these won't have anything in common, so it's not going to actually work. So we're actually going to need to rearrange these so that so that actually this will work here. So I'm going to put the, um, let's see here, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to keep my first term right here. And I'm going to go ahead and flip these guys. Plus 3p squared plus 6 minus 4k. I just noticed that these both have a p and then these both will have a 2 in common. So let's just see what happens here. So I put parentheses around the first two terms, parentheses around the uh, second uh, pair of terms. And let's see, the GCF right here, let's see, they both have a, a p squared in common, p squared. So now I'm going to have a 2k uh, plus 3. And uh, this right here had, let's see, I could factor out a 2, it looks like. I'm going to factor out a 2. I keep messing up right here. So let me try that again. So I factor out a 2, that means I'm going to have 3 uh, minus 2k. Okay. So let's just see what happened here. I made a small error um, because these are not the same. And this is actually really good that I'm showing you this right now because I kept saying in the previous examples that these must be the same. And so since these are not the same, um, either it's not factorable or I made an error. And I see my error right here. See when I switch these two, this needs to be a negative uh, 3p uh, squared. So I'm going to make this uh, right here negative, negative 3p squared. And then that's a positive. So now that means this right here should be negative. Okay, but that's just real important here that that actually happened because uh, you just don't want to ignore that because your answer will not come out to be correct then. All right? All right, so notice that we have a GCF of 2K minus 3. And uh, I mean, like, you can, oh, wait a minute. This is a 2K minus 3. This is a 3 minus 2K. Oh, snaps. It's a good example right here. Um, so these are not the same. They look very, very, very similar, but, but they're quite not the same here. And actually, I'm just going to rearrange this. Um, I'm going to make it as negative 2k plus 3. So negative 2k plus 3. All right, so these are very, 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 very close, but they're not quite the same. So if I want this to be a positive 2k, and if I want this to be a negative 3, I want these signs to change. And the way that you can change the signs is by factoring out a negative 1. So instead of doing plus 2, I'm going to do minus 2, which now makes it a positive 2k, and then a minus 3. And I'm going to drop this down. Okay, so now, now notice that these are the same. And notice what I did is if the signs need to be changed, then that means this factor needs to be changed. That sign needs to change as well. All right, so, so lastly, since those are, are the same, that's going to be my GCF of 2k minus 3. And then what do I put inside? Well, I put what I have left. So uh, p squared minus 2. And that'll be it.